What is going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Black up here in the tech guy here. And we are be testing out the night feature mode for the DJI Osmo Action 5, the uh, Insta 360 Pro, as well as the GoPro Hero 12. To see basically how well they function in low light. And right now they'll be currently in default mode. So right now I am shooting on my Osmo Action 5. Now these are all in the default settings I have. 4K 24 frames, Rocksteady is on, otherwise auto white, ba or white balance and exposure are all set to automatic. We're just testing out to see how well these function in low light. So right now, I'm just kind of currently on my way to work, but we're just walking in a current, my parking lot. It's a little bit lighted as you can see, but it is still dark nonetheless, and I am not using D-Log for the DJI as well as I will not be using it for the Insta360 which is known as iLog and I will not be using in the log format for the GoPro as well. This is just a base comparison so that you can basically see which one you think is going to do better in low light situations. Now I don't know exactly what you'd be doing in low light in terms of how you film your videos but because I live in Alaska right now it will be getting darker and darker during the uh, during the winter months so basically between November and around March or April it starts to get darker so in about a couple in about a day or so around September or Sunday it'll start getting darker around say uh, three or four o'clock in the afternoon so if you're doing any type of nighttime vlogging and you want to see what this will look like without changing any of the settings just straight out of the box this is what you would get with the DJI Action 5 Pro and I am using just the straight audio from the device itself now we're going to switch from the Action 5 and then we're going to try out the Insta360 Ace Pro and we're going to see how well that fares out with the uh, against the DJI and again this is early in the morning so it's going to be a little bit different when I get off of work it may be a little bit more busier because uh, we're still open at the time I get off but it'll still be dark nonetheless so we're going to test out that one now. What is going on guys welcome back to another video Black Up the Tech Guy here and today we're going to be doing a comparison between the Insta360 Ace Pro, my DJI Action 5, as well as the GoPro in low light situations. So I've already done the one for the, for the uh, DJI. Right now I'm shooting on the Insta360. I'm using a mode known as Pure Video, which is basically allows us to shoot in low light, condition, uh, low light conditions. Now I am shooting in 4K at 24 frames. I have the white exposure as well as the, um, I'm sorry, the white balance as well as the exposure all set to auto. And I'm not using any type of color logs at all. This is just straight standard video. And I believe that Rocksteady is enabled on the Insta360. So, and the audio quality is coming directly from the Insta360 itself. Now I really wasn't expecting it to snow uh, basically, but this is what you're gonna get in this kind of lighted situation. The only light that I have available is the lights that I got up there. Otherwise, um, the first video with the DJI, I was actually walking to work, and that was early in the morning. So, although there was lights um, that were covering or that were shadowing or overshadowing the uh, parking lot, I'm just basically walking right now on the side of a building. This is the lighting that's here. But this is what you're gonna typically get from the lighting or from the performance from low light with the Insta360. Now we'll be doing another comparison when I have them both in a log profile and just kind of compare those two in terms of what they look like when you add a profile to them. But this is what you're gonna get with the Insta360 and the audio quality. And again, although the lighting isn't too bad, as you can see, there's lighting here and around the sign. It's just fairly well lit, but with the snow and whatnot, this is what you're gonna get with this also as compared to with the DGI. So what do you think about the quality of the video for the Insta360? Now we're gonna switch from that to the GoPro and then you can see what the quality is between that as well. Now we are shooting on the GoPro Hero 12. And again, this is in 4K at 24 frames. I have white balance and exposure all set to auto. I'm not using any type of um, 8 bit or 10 bit or any type of color correction for this. This is just straight out of the GoPro and the audio as well. So, how do you think this compares to the Insta360? Again, I'm in the same spot walking back and forth, the same amount of lighting and um, audio quality. So, do you think the audio quality sounds as good as the Insta360? or with the DJI, do you think the DJI sounds better than both of these? And again, 
uh, different situation in terms of how I was filming the videos when I was doing my uh, Action 5. I was doing that in the main parking lot when the store wasn't open where I work at, so it was a simple walk to the parking lot. Um, it wasn't as lit as this was, but um, it was still bright nonetheless. Otherwise, just like the Insta360, the same lighting back and forth. I believe I have stability on for this. So this is the quality that you're going to get from the GoPro uh, as compared to the Insta360 and the DJI. So what do you think about the audio quality as well as the video quality with this now with the GoPro? Again, you don't get... Um, that super night that you would get for the DJI, nor do you get pure video like you would for the Insta360. It's just kind of how you set the GoPro is how to work in low light situations. So that's how that works. And I wanted this to be as um, fair balanced as possible with all of them shooting at 4K at 24, all the white balance and the exposure set to auto. That way I'm letting the action camera do it all on its own without me having to do anything in terms of changing anything in it. So. Let me know in the comments down below which one you think is the better one between them. Uh, and then I'll also be doing another follow-up video as well. I want to see how well the uh, Insta360 versus the um, Osmo Action 5 when it comes to doing any type of color log profiles. And then I'll be doing one with the GoPro as well to see which one of those is the better between the two or the three of those. So again, if you're not new to my channel, my name is Black Appeal, the Tech Guy. And if this video was helpful, please give me a thumbs up. And if you want to see more content like this, hit that subscribe button. Hit that bell notification. That way you don't miss content when I drop in. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Enjoy your week. Um, yeah, it sucks because it snows here in Alaska. And it's getting darker and darker by the day. So, see you guys. Enjoy your week.